So this is a short video of the CMM Mitsutoyo machine at Sheffield Engineering Centre. As you can see, currently the X, the Y and the Z are locked, so none of this moves. If we unlock them, we can travel in the Y direction, the X direction mm -hmm. and the Z direction. Let's lock them off for now. So that's now staying still. Another point worth noting, we've got the a dryer in the compressor line to remove any moisture before it goes into the machine. Ken's powered up the computer that goes with the machine. So he's going to press enter. There we are. Now it immediately comes up with this Mitutoyo screen. And now it wants us to reference the machine. So Ken's unlocked the X and we see it goes green, so it's referenced the X axis. He's now moving it and referencing the Y and here's the Z and it goes to this screen then. There we are. So we're going to reduce the, we're going to minimise that down and we'll minimise that one as well. And we're going to open the Mitutoyo program and load a program for measuring for measuring this little sp uh, spacer here. It's got a threaded end, it's got a taper, and it's got well an inch long section of the same of the same diameter. I don't think there's a taper on that, but um, so here we go, Ken. Back onto this. So back onto that. Bringing up the previous program. Just press OK on that, and then it'll ask you for your name. Oh no, it didn't even ask you for your name. So we've glued the part on as shown, except we haven't because we haven't got any, we haven't got any plasticine that's disappeared in the clearing out of the building. So we're having to use blue tech today. Earlier test show it seems okay, but it doesn't hold it in position quite as well. So it's likely we'll end up with a lot more of the measurements we take being out of, t showing the component to be out of tolerance. Anyway, let's get on with this, Ken. Okay. Okay, so we're going to press OK. We'll just OK that. And it wants us to place the probe, so you need to get it near the right hand side. And you're going to lock the Y axis once you're there, and you're going to take some measurements around that diameter, to us turn that diameter. So do you, are you ready for an OK? Yep. Well then OK. Element finished. Splendid. And it's now going to ask us to do it, take another measurement. So we're gonna we're doing the the same section just nearer the taper this time, Ken. So up there. Are you ready for an OK? Yep. Measure circle point one. Two. Three, four, element finish. Next, we want to do this uh, back end. Just had a minor interruption. We'll carry on now, Ken. So we're still measuring this component. Large diameter. Large diameter. To lock the Y. Lock the Y. Gonna take oh, four. Okay. Still Sorry. Okay. Measure circle so point four one. points around this Two, diameter. Three, four. Element finish. Okay. Front face. So lock your X and your X and your Z once you're there. Okay, that. Measure point point one. Element Sweet. finish. Uh, now we need to do that front. Uh, front shoulder. Let me know when you're ready. X and Z, yeah, you can do that. Okay. So you've locked your X and Z, yeah? Measure point, point one. Element finished. That's the element finished. And then it generates this little report. The blue tack was obviously better this time than last. Last time we did it, we had a page of red because the thing was moving, the component was moving all over the place. Um, 
So there we are, it's showing that the component is out of tolerance, but there is no question that that's the result of this machine having any issue. It's the component that will be out of tolerance. Make sure there's full set of instructions there. We've just been following this set of instructions that were created by a previous member of staff. Um, obviously it comes with the supplementary table that can be bolted in using that hole. And that's that. Just had a minor interruption, we'll carry on now, Ken. So we're still measuring this component. Large diameter. Large diameter. To lock the Y. Lock the Y. Can take four. Oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, okay. Measure the circle. Sorry, points four right. points around this Two. diameter. Three. Four. Element to finish. Front, Front face. So lock your X and your X and your Z once you're there. Okay, that. Measure point point one. Element Street. to finish. Uh, now we need to do that front that front shoulder. Let me know when you're ready. X and Z, yeah, you can do that. Okay. So you've locked your X and your Z, yeah? yeah. Measure point point one. Element finished. That's the element finished. And then it generates this little report. The blue tack was obviously better this time than last. Last time we did it, we had a page of red because the thing was moving, the component was moving all over the place. Um, so there we are. It's showing that the component is out of tolerance, but there is no question that that's the result of this machine having any issue. It's the component that will be out of tolerance. Make sure there's full set of instructions there. We've just been following this set of instructions that were created by a previous member of staff. Um, obviously it comes with the supplementary table that can be bolted in using that hole. And that's that.